This is the newly released Evil Pal M2A Brute Power Rack. They said it's a Smith machine, but it's a lot more than a Smith machine. It's a Smith machine, it's a chest workout station, dip station, pull up station, cable crossover station. It's got a lot going on. I'm gonna talk about all that in this video. They sent it to me so I can make this video for you and show you exactly how it can enhance your home gym workout and hopefully enhance those gains. Now, if you find yourself watching this video and you think to yourself, hey, I'd like to learn more about the Evil Pal M2A Brute Smith Machine Power Rack Home Gym System, I got your back. Links in the description and the comments down below. Heads up, if you click those links and buy something, I might actually make some money. If you don't want me to, just go Google it and find it yourself. First, let's talk about the construction and the stability. Each post is a two by two post. The actual construction is a 14 gauge alloy steel. And something I really like is that each one of these posts, they add additional mounting to each of the bottom of the post to help reduce a lot of that swaying that you see in a lot of other home gym systems. Now this has a ton of attachments with it for a bunch of different exercises. We have our dip bars here with multiple positions for holding, for those of you that like some of that upper body workout. It of course has the pull up bar here at the top with multiple handle positions as well for different types of angles, hitting different types of muscles. Have ourselves of course, it comes with some handles for the pulley system, I'll show you that in a little bit. Comes with a couple of J hooks. For those of you that might want to use your barbell and do some freestanding squats or bench press, whatever it is that you wanna do there. We have ourselves some safety arms right here. Now down here, we have a landmine attachment for those of you that like doing landmine workouts, getting some of those landmine rows in. Speaking of landmines, we got ourselves a landmine bar and for the pulley system, which I'll demonstrate here in just a little bit, we have a low row bar that it comes with and also a lat pull down bar. So a lot of options here for you to get multiple types of exercises and workouts in. But now let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's talk a little bit about the pec deck. With the Evo Pal M2A system, one of the biggest draws is the ability to do different types of chest exercises and back with this. It's essentially like a version of the pec deck. It's got a nice cushioned back rest right here. All you gotta do is put a weight bench here, grab the handle and you could do chest presses. For example, I've got a couple of Evo Pal bumper plates sitting back there already. So you could do chest presses like this, or you can use the cushioned padding right here to do a version of, of course, the pec deck and really work the inner sides of the chest as well, just like this. Or you could even do something like this where you can simply turn around if you wanted to hit the back and who doesn't want to, just do something like this, grab the handles and start really pulling back and contracting those back muscles. But next let's talk about the cable pulley system and the cable crossovers. With the cable crossover system, there's actually eight different positions that you can move this up and down the post. So in other words, you can do high body or you can do low body or mid. So all you have to do, pull this pin out, move the actual unit there. And let's say, let's put it here. Again, eight different positions. Here's some examples of that. So you can see me doing some high body work here. I'm gonna move it down low, do some bicep curls and even some front cable raises. Because of the multi-position opportunity with this, that means I can hit a lot of different angles with a lot of different exercise and hopefully build a lot of different muscle. Looking at the cable system, we can see we have our front crossover cables here. This all comes around the top, down through here, and eventually we'll come to this area right here. This is where you're gonna load up your weight plates. You can see here I'm using the Evo Pal bumper plates. If you need plates, highly recommend checking those out. And then so as you're doing your different exercises, this is going to lift and drop as you're going through each one of your motions. You can see a lot of different cables there. I wanted to also mention very quickly is that there is also a low row cable that's right down here that you can use for different types of low row types of exercise, such as what you're seeing here, where you can put your feet onto the feet rests and work those back muscles. While I'm back here, I wanted to show you that this did also come with four weight plate storage pins, as you can see here. That way you keep your plates off the ground. So when we talk about the actual Smith machine portion of this, this one is actually a very smooth overall up and down. And it's got several different positions that you can place this. So you can see here, there's all these pins that go through there. So that way, if I wanted to stop high, I can do that. Or if I needed to go lower, maybe I'm doing some sort of, I don't know, rows or something like that. I could do something kind of like this, place it right there, pull it up like this, and now I can do my rows. There's all sorts of different positions. Of course, you can also go all the way down the ground if you wanted to. Maybe if you're gonna do some sort of deadlift exercises, no problem. It can also accommodate doing deadlifts as well. So a lot of different opportunities for doing, again, 
a lot of different exercises. Now look, there's no such thing as a perfect home gym. There's a couple of things about this that I would have liked to have seen done different. For example, the pull-up bars are just a little bit low for me. I'm 6'3", granted, I'm taller than most people, but that means for me, I'm gonna be dangling awfully close to the ground whenever I use those. If you're a taller person, something you might wanna consider. Also, the space between the Smith bar and the chest workout area is a little bit narrow. Now look, if you want everything, you gotta sacrifice something somewhere. I would rather have all of these options and sacrifice a little bit of space. But even me being a bigger dude, I can still totally do this as you saw here on the video, but it's something to be mindful of is the space is just a little bit tight. The only other thing that I'll mention actually has to do with assembly. I felt that the instructions were a little bit confusing. The pieces weren't labeled real well. In fact, it took me probably uh, a bit longer to do this because of the lack of clarity on the instructions than I would have liked. All of the pieces were there, all of the nuts and the bolts, but I think what they did is they included all of the nuts and bolts for the different models in this. So it looked like I had a bunch of spares, which was confusing at the beginning. I reached out to the company and they said, yes, that's because this is their first iterations of the Smith machine and some packages might have more hardware in them than they actually need. But I didn't know that up front, so it's worth keeping in mind. Again, I'm not real smart and I was still able to put this together fairly easy, but take your time putting it together. So if you're looking for a home gym system that's more than just squats, more than just bench presses, more than just bicep curls or pull-ups, you're looking for a total package, a total body package, the EvoPal M2A Power Rack needs to be on your list to check out.